Greetings Super Spies and welcome to my training video in how to make a cipher wheel. I am Mirabel Merriweather, branch leader of the Super Spies. Now, a cipher wheel is a very nice piece of kit that you can add to your Super Spy toolkit. It dates from around the 18th century when Thomas Jefferson was working for the American president George Washington and they needed to send messages in code. So super spies, I'm going to show you now how to make your own. I'm going to show you now how to make your own cipher wheel, an excellent code making device. So here we go. You're going to need a pair of scissors, a pencil, a protractor, a split pin and a compass. We start off by drawing a circle with our compass. You'll then need to draw a bigger circle over there, say something like this. So you can draw your bigger circle here. You'll then need to take your protractor and you need to draw out degrees, 26 sections. So you'll need 26 sections of 13.8 degrees. You'll need to mark it all the way around the circle like so, etc, 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 or you could just download my handy template which is here. All you need to do then is to cut out the circles. So let's do that now. Like so. Line them up like so. Then you can just go around the circle and you can write your letters on. So on the outside of the circle, Let's write, let's do A, B, C. Ta -da! Then on the inside of the circle, let's write them in lowercase. Congratulations, super spies. You've now created your own cipher wheel. Now, I'd recommend decorating it with using different colour inks for the different letters. You can customise it however you like, which will mark it as your own so that other super spies know it's your cipher wheel. Now, speaking of which, whoever you are sending the code to will also need their own cipher wheel so that they can decode your message. Right, let's start by trying to write out our first word using our cipher wheel. Now, the key that I'm going to use is five to the right. So first of all, make sure that your letters are joined up. A equals A. Now, I'm going to move it round five to the right. One, two, three, four, five. There we go. You could also say to your fellow super spy who you want to decode your message that F equals A. So you can see F equals A. So five to the right or F equals A. I'm now going to write a word and let's see if we can work out what it says. Here we go, super spy. So I'm just going to write out a word for you. You can see if you can start working it out. So M, J, W, D, I. Now, it's very important to note that I've written it in lower case because this is what you're going to need to use to decipher the code. So you're going to use the lower case letters on the inside. So let's start off by looking here and you will see that lower case M equals R. So our first letter is R. 
then J, lowercase j, equals O, lowercase w, equals B, and lowercase d, equals I. I'm sure you can see already the word, and the lowercase i equals n. So there we have it. Robin is our word super spies. So you can see how easy the cipher wheel is to use once you know how. Now, you can also refer to my downloadable document entitled Writing and Deciphering a Code, which shows you an alternative way of practicing this cipher code. Do send us a message, Super Spies, and let us know how you get on with your training. Good luck, and until we meet again, fare you well.